Okay, in this video, let's take a few minutes thinking about how changes in both demand and supply can affect the level of producer surplus. Producer surplus is a measure of welfare, and it's the difference between the price the producer is willing and able to supply a product for and the price they actually get in the market. And we show the amount of producer surplus by the area above the supply curve and below the market price, assuming that the firm receives the same price for each unit sold. Let's take a good example of a business under pressure. At the moment, many egg uh, suppliers are being affected by rising costs. The cost of energy, for example, has gone up and uh, the consequences of, of avian flu on the bird size of the bird flocks and things. So there have been some quite severe shortages of eggs and things uh, over time. So we'll take that example and let's look at the effect of an inward shift of supply. Now, initially, uh, the market price is B and the quantity is D. And therefore, the producer surplus, to start off with, is the area B. G, F, the area above the supply curve and below the price. Well, let's assume there's a big rise in costs. For example, many bird manufacturers, many egg manufacturers affected by an increase in the cost of feed and also energy, major cost to those, to those big scale growers. So supply shifts from S1 to S2 are higher costs. That will cause a fall in the quantity bought and sold from D to E. Uh, and the price will go up from B to H in equilibrium. Of course, the extent to which the price goes up depends on the coefficient of price elasticity of demand. So there we have it. There's a change in the price and the quantity. Now, what is the new area of producer surplus? Just check and test your understanding here. Maybe just press that pause button on the video for a few seconds and uh, think about which area, labelled area, shows the new producer surplus. What do you think? Originally, producer surplus was B, G, F. The new area is H, I, K. Yeah, they're charging a higher price, but of course their costs have gone up. So that triangle above the supply curve, below the price, has shrunk from, uh, from B, G, F to H, I, K, a fall in producer surplus. And this is good analysis to use. If you get a question on b impact of bird, impact of higher costs on producers, typically the producer surplus goes down. Let's throw in a, a, sorry, HIK is clearly smaller than BGF. I think we can work that one out. Let's throw about another little uh, a little thing into the equation. Let's call it a fall in demand here. Let's assume, for, I don't know, for some reason there's a fall in demand. Maybe consumer fears about egg safety and things or whatever, whatever it is. So demand shifts in from D1 to D2. Now, this is also potentially bad news, isn't it, for the producer and their surplus. So now we've got S2 and D2. So the quantity will fall to J, from E to J, and the market price will come down because obviously a new equilibrium at, at that point, the market price will fall from H to M. So now the producer is selling less and at a lower price. You should be able to work out what happens to the producer surplus. Uh, I've put in a letter N there. Producer surplus now falls to area M, N, K, a loss of H, I, N, M. So fall in demand and rising costs have caused a significant fall in the producer surplus. And typically, uh, you get to either uh, you have to draw a diagram to analyse the effects of something, or you get a multiple choice question about producer surplus. So if you're consistent, if you're happy and confident with these concepts, you should be in great shape for the exam. If these videos are useful, we super appreciate it if you would like to press like and subscribe. We never take it for granted, and uh, hopefully see you sometime soon.